Hello. In this video, I'd like to share with you what you will learn in MESA's Fusion 360 2 and 3 axis milling course. In this course, we'll run through several examples. In each case, we have a completed design that we're going to bring into Fusion and create the setup, the toolpaths, and then post process those out to an NC file. In this case, I already have one on my screen. You can see here I have a top setup for the top operations, and then there's actually a bottom setup for the bottom operations. The setup gets into the model orientation, what machine we're going to use, and also in the stock tab, you get to define which size of material or the starting piece of stock, how big that's going to be in relationship to our design. There's a couple different ways of defining that. And then we have a position tab, and that is if we have a design or a machine that actually has a model that is compatible with the simulation function, we can kind of position it inside of the machine. And then we also have the post-process tab, which allows us to set up a few things in preparation for post-process. So in each case, we'll go through creating the setup. Then we'll create a variety of operations. You can see here under the 2D, we have things like adaptive clearing, 2D pocket, face, contour, etc. And then we have under the 3D, we have things like adaptive clearing, pocket as well, scala, parallel, horizontal, things along those lines. We're going to actually use a lot of those. And then we also have drilling operations. It is possible to create templates for some of these operations, and we'll look at that as well. Uh, once we have designs or, or toolpaths created, we can simulate these. We'll actually do this fairly frequently where we'll go in and we'll try to run a simulation to see that we're getting the right output. Here it's saying that I don't have a machine that is compatible with the simulation in the context of the machine. I'll say go ahead and simulate without it. And you can see I can run that here. There's a facing operation and there's an adaptive clearing of that pocket. It'll go through and do each of those four pockets. And then there is a pocket operation that will kind of clear that out into more of the finishing type of operation. There's a contour. Uh, there's a couple contours actually that will get the right operation. One of those contours is actually a chamfer operation to take off the sharp corners. So we've got a variety of operations. Again, there's stuff on the bottom here. We get into the 2D and the 3D axis milling in all of these cases. And then once we're all done, we can get into the post-processing of these, which then creates the NC file, which we can then load on a machine out in the shop. All this and more is covered in Mesa's Fusion 360 2 and 3 axis milling course. If you have any questions or if you'd like to sign up, you can give us a call or you can email me directly at my email address there on the screen. In the description to this video, I will leave a link to our course catalog and our course schedule. And hopefully I'll get to see you in class real soon. Thanks for watching.